pharmacists have claimed the country is 10 days away from a crisis in the supply of medicines. The warning was issued at an emergency meeting of the Irish Pharmacy Union today to discuss the row over the government's decision to cut their fees. The health service executive says it's putting contingency measures in place to ensure patients get their medicines. Around a thousand pharmacists attended today's emergency meeting in Dublin to discuss the government's decision to cut the fees it pays them for dispensing medicines. The Irish Pharmacy Union has sought an urgent meeting with the Health Minister with just 10 days to go before 1,100 pharmacists stop dispensing medicines under community drug schemes. The union says the cut is 34%, a figure disputed by the Health Minister, who has put the reduction at 24%. We are facing a crisis. This crisis can and should be averted, and this crisis can be averted. We are available to talk if the Minister wishes to talk to us. The schemes affected by the action are the medical card scheme, which covers just under 1.5 million people, and 60,000 people on the long-term illness scheme, who get medicines for conditions like diabetes, epilepsy and Parkinson's disease. Some pharmacists told today's meeting they will stop dispensing methadone to patients who need it. The Irish Patients Association has called for outside intervention to resolve the dispute. Again I say patients must not be used as pawns by any party, any party in an industrial dispute. Health Minister Mary Harney said pharmacists will still earn high margins from dispensing medicines, even under the new fee structure. And she said that over 800 pharmacists would continue to dispense medicines to customers despite the row. The HSE says it is concentrating its efforts on contingency planning to ensure patients get their medicines at alternative locations. As I say, 1,100 pharmacists provided a very good community pharmacy service for 30 years. We're not trying to replicate that, just provide a contingency to make sure patients have had access to services. The executive has called on pharmacists to engage in the action to help patients have their prescriptions filled elsewhere. Well, Fergal Myers is with us now in studio. Fergal, how would you rate the chances of averting this so-called crisis before that August 1st deadline? It seems quite poor at the moment, given what we've heard this afternoon. Uh, we're 10 days away from this action. The pharmacy union wants to have a meeting with the minister. They believe savings can be made, but not in the way the minister wants to achieve them. Uh, she has said that no public sector has received state payments that have doubled since 2002, and that the pharmacists will still earn a good margin, even with the cut. So it's, um, it's a standard off at this point. And these uh, contingency plans put in place by the HSE, are they anywhere near advanced enough to, to, to deal uh, with affected patients in the event of a, of a resolution not being found? Well, remember that 1,100 pharmacists won't dispense, but eight, over 800 will, so that is somewhat helpful. The HSE is trying to identify regions of the country where there won't be any service, and it's looking to alternative pharmacies to provide that service. It's also looking to hospital dispensaries to provide the service. Now, the pharmacy union is saying um, the contingency plans are, are, are awful, they're not going to work. Um, and also, you can't expect sick and elderly people to travel to centralised hospital locations to get medicines from people they don't know. So it's going to be a time of anxiety. Very good, Fergal Bass, for the moment. Many thanks.